So Kling AI just introduced their first frame and line frame feature with their most powerful model Kling 2.1 and I have been testing this model from last two days and I have to admit that the things are getting really good. So in this video I'm gonna share some of the possibilities with the first frame and the line frame feature and we're gonna see how to use it. So without any further ado let's dive in. So first of all if you head over to the Kling AI's website and go to the video section now you can see we have the Kling 2.1 available with the first frame and end frame feature. Now there are a couple of things that we're gonna try like tricky camera movements, time lapse, VFX transitions and product shots. So starting off with these two images. So let's start with this as our first frame and this as our end frame. So if you don't know about the first frame and the end frame, actually you are telling the AI what will be the starting and ending of your video. And in between the first frame and the end frame, the AI will automatically generate some frames that we're gonna see in this video. So let's start with this simple prompt, a camera pans from man to woman. So we are generating the panning effect. Okay, so here is the output video. And now we have a very smooth camera pan effect from man to woman. And it doesn't look like this is two separate frames. It looks like a single video. And you cannot achieve this thing with the text to video because we have already defined our two characters and we are generating the panning effect and we are combining both of these characters in a single shot, which is amazing. So next we're gonna use these two images and we're gonna generate a very tricky shot out of it. And let's give it a prompt, a drone shot starting from a car guy and fly over the building to the sniper guy. So here is the output and look at this, how smooth it is. The shot starts with the car guy, then flies over to the buildings and then close up to the sniper guy. So if you're working on any AI project, any AI film, and you want to get this level of camera movements, that's how you can achieve it. Now here's one more incredible example where the shots start from the street, goes through the window and then close to the woman's face and just imagine how tricky this shot is. And if you're wondering, this was the first frame and this was the end frame. But one more important thing that you have to keep in mind, your prompt is very important. So this was the output with the different prompt, but in this one, the output is kind of weird. So your prompt plays a very important role. I'm not saying you're gonna get your desired results in the first output, but if you pay attention to the prompt, you're gonna get really good results. Now here is my most favorite shot. Everything looks perfect here, but I wanted the camera to pan towards right. But then just changing a single word like camera pans right and the rest of the prompt was same, I have the desired results because I wanted the camera to pan towards the direction where the woman is actually looking at. This is what we get. Now here's one more possibility where you can generate the shots like this. So this was the first frame, this was the end frame. The man is walking in a hallway and then woman opens a door with a very scared face and it looks very amazing. So it depends on your creativity, your ideas. These are just the possibilities. Now you can also generate very cool transitions out of it. So this was the simple image. This was the Iron Man image. And this is what we get out of it. Yes, this is not as cool as the Iron Man movie, but, but still it looks very good. And here we have one more VFX kind of thing where this simple man turns into this burning hell monster. And the transition looks very seamless. Now one more interesting thing that you can do with the first frame and the end frame that you can generate a life story of someone. So for example, this was the initial image of a baby crawling, then he stands up like the baby is growing up and then I use the exact same end frame and now we have the elder version of this guy. And repeating the same process, now this boy is ready to go for a school. So you can use your own images to generate these kind of stories. Then he grows up more and turn into a fully adult man and then life goes on, he completes his studies and now enjoying his life. But sadly, he's in practical life. Now he has to go out for a work. Now he's out for a work. Then life goes on after so many difficult turns in his life. He's still working. Now he's 40 years old, but still working. And this is the sad reality of our lives. So if I play the whole picture in a single video, here it is.
So these are some of the creative uses of the first frame and land frame. You can use it according to your creativity. You can use it for the product shots, filmmaking, AI VFX or whatever thing you want to try. And for me, this was a game changing feature because I haven't seen this much of good results from any of the first frame and land frame tool. So the link will be in the description below. And if you sign up with my link, you're going to get 10% off on the annual subscriptions. So go ahead and definitely check this out. And that's it from today. See you in the next one.